the child of God, the Lord is saying to you today, be strong and be courageous. He's saying, all those who hope in the Lord, he's saying, be strong and be courageous. Dear child of God, it is time that you become strong. It is time that you become courageous. Dear child of God, you have been discouraged times and times again. You have been in distress times and times again because of some things that may have happened. But today the Lord is saying, take back your courage. The Lord is saying to you, stand strong. The Lord is saying to you, stand tall. For everything shall be in order for you. For everything shall go on well for you. The Lord is saying, don't allow yourself to be defeated. The Lord is saying, don't allow yourself to be pushed back. The word of God says, put away fear and let your heart be strong. Psalms 31 verse 24. It says, let your heart be strong. All you whose hope is in the Lord. It says, everyone that hopes in the Lord, be strong and be brave in your heart. Dear child of God, this is not the time to allow fear. Yes, I know the situations is becoming tense for you. Challenges are coming night and day. You have become afraid for your life. You are thinking if you are going to be able to survive this. You are thinking if you'll be able to survive all the attacks coming against your way. But don't worry, be strong, dear child of God. It says, take courage. You see, David needed to have courage. And this was why the word came to him and God told him, be strong. He says, let not your heart be afraid. He says, be courageous. Let your heart be courageous. He says, put faith and put hope in me. And he did. And God gave him victories. Dear child of God, he was faced with battles. He was faced with Goliath. Yes, the enemies were pursuing him. Saul wanted him dead. He had the entire army pursuing him. He was afraid of his life. And God will come reminding him, be strong. God will come reminding him, take heart, be courageous, be brave, for you would overcome. Dear child of God, I want to say to you today that you would have the victories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to say to you today, you would be the overcomer. The Lord has said you are more than a conqueror. The Lord has said you are more than a winner. The God who said you are more than a victor would ensure that you have the victories. The Lord who said you are victorious would ensure that you win all the battles that you may be faced with in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He told David, let your heart be strong. He told David, be brave. And David became brave. And at the end of the day, he was the one testifying. At the end of the day, he was the one standing. Dear child of God, I know sometimes you may have had fears. The Lord is saying, I have not given you fear. He said, rather, I gave you power. He said, Radha, I gave you power. I gave you a sound mind. Dear child of God, be sound in your mind. Don't have a defeated mind. Tell yourself, I will scale through. Yes, I know these problems are coming upon me to weigh me down, to destroy me. I know these things are happening to me to destroy me. But no, I will come out stronger. I will come out better. I will come out as the victorious one. I will come out as the conqueror. And dear child of God, I want to assure you, you will come out as a victorious one in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at that sickness and say to that sickness, you cannot take my life because the Lord is with me. I am courageous. He had promised to preserve me. He had promised to keep me and I will not give room for fear. I will not allow you to eat me up. Dear child of God, tell that situation. Yes, you have come to buffet me. You have come to destroy me. You have come to make me a shadow of myself, but I have no fear. Because I have God backing me up. I'll be brave and I'll be courageous. He told him, be brave. So the word of God in Psalms 27 verse 14 says, It says, let your hope be in the Lord. Take heart and be strong. It says, yes, let your hope be in the Lord. Dear child of God, please let your hope be in the Lord. Let your heart focus on God. Let your entirety be on God. Your heart, everything that you know I consign to you, hand them over to God. Tell God, please take charge. Take charge so these things will not fail. Take charge so that I can still be standing. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, you will still be standing. I want to assure you, dear child of God, you would have the reasons to rejoice. You would have the reasons to laugh. You will say, indeed, God have made me an overcomer. In the mighty name of Jesus, that will be your testimony. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You see, the Lord God came to Joshua and said, Have I not commanded you to be courageous? Have I not commanded you to be strong? Have I not commanded you to have hopes? And so Joshua began to renew his strength. Yes, he was frail at that time. He was getting tired. He was getting weary. He thought he would not overcome. And the Lord told him, Have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? And so he had the victories. Dear child of God, I want to assure you of your victories. Nothing will stop you from testifying of your victories in the mighty name of Jesus. All you need is to have great strength in the Lord. All you need is to have hope in God. All you need is to make sure you stand firm, is to make sure you stand your ground. The word of God says, having done all to stand, he says, stand, therefore. He says, stand, therefore. He says, stand, therefore. Ephesians 6, 13 and 14. He says, stand, therefore, dear child of God. Don't lose your stand. Don't lose your grip. Be brave. Don't allow the enemies sense fear in you. Don't allow them who are threatening you sense fear in you. Be courageous. He told him, told you before, have hope in me. You have been seeking the Lord and that is the reason you should not fail. That is the reason you cannot fail because the Lord said, he's backing you up. Because the Lord said, I'm going to fight for you. Because the Lord said, I'm going to uphold you with my right hand of righteousness. Because the Lord have said, I'm going to help you. Dear child of God, please hold on to God. You see, David said in Psalms 138 verse 3, When my cry came to your ears, he says, you gave me an answer and made me great with strength in my soul, my God. He says, when he prayed to God, when he cried to God, God gave him an answer. And then God made him great with strength in his soul. God made him great with strength in his soul. Dear child of God, God will strengthen your soul today. Yes, you will do this. You will do this. You will do this. And you'll be able to stand. You'll be able to stand and combat whatever it is. Whatever confronting situation, dear child of God. Whatever confronting circumstance that have been standing in your way. God will give you that strength. And you will be able to stand. You will stand strong. You will stand tall. Oh, dear child of God. You will stand strong and you will stand tall in the mighty name. Of Jesus Christ dear child of God you will stand strong and you stand tall in the mighty name of Jesus he said I've not given you the spirit of fear I've given you only love I've given you power and I've given you a sound mind let this direct your cause and dear child of God at the end of the day you will be the one testifying of victories in the mighty name of Jesus at the end of the day you'll be the one testifying of the fact that you overcame them all in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, cheer up. He had brought you the victory. He says, cheer up. Don't be afraid. You have overcome them all. Dear child of God, the Lord is saying to you, cheer up for the victory is yours. And I want to assure you, you shall have victories in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to assure you, dear child of God, you shall overcome. In the face of oppositions, you shall overcome. When they wanted you to break, you shall overcome, dear child of God. When they wanted you to cave in, you shall overcome. You shall come out tall. You shall come out strong, lifting up your head up high in Jesus' mighty name. Jehovah who had promised to be with you. Jehovah who had promised to be beside you. Jehovah who had promised to help you will not leave you. It will sustain you until you accomplish everything that you need to accomplish in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is done. It is settled and nothing will cause you to be destroyed. Nothing will cause you to bury your head in shame in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I call it down because it is settled and you shall be the overcomer that God has made you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.